Hi everyone, how are things? As you can see, not the warmest of days here. It's absolutely freezing, but I've got the brand new Fox Speedframe Pro, which is gonna bring some fire to proceedings. So let me flip you around and let's take a closer look at this brand new trail lid. I know what you're thinking, you can barely see it against this tree because this is the camo version of the Fox Speedframe Pro. Check it out. Now down here I've brought with me my favourite ever helmet. This is the Fox Flux. That's the predecessor to the Speedframe Pro. And as you can see, they do share a few similarities. But it's pretty cool to see that Fox have updated the little niggly bits that definitely needed bringing up to date on the Flux. So let me take you through them. So let's start with the ventilation and the exhaust ports on the Speedframe Pro and the old Flux. Now there you go. On the Speedframe Pro you can already see those three big vents right at the front of the helmet. That's the flux. You just get the solid helmet liner there. And then behind you get the three vents there. Now with the Speedframe Pro you get those three vents low down and then the two behind the peak there. Going around the back You've got a vent at the side, vent at the other side, two more at the top, and then for the exhaust ports to get rid of all the air flowing through, check that out. Now let's compare that to the back of the old flux. The Speedframe Pro basically has been optimized to get as much air in, through and out the back as possible. No self-respecting helmet these days comes without MIPS and as you can see there's a full MIPS liner in the new Speedframe Pro. And that's combined with the Verisorb dual density liner for maximum impact protection. It's got that 360 degree retention system is super easy to use and talking of super easy to use it has this fidlock closure on the strap too now while i do love the fox flux one of the real niggly things is this peak that comes on it it's kind of a a lightweight plastic you can never really get it sitting right it's kind of okay at the moment but then I don't know it's something you could bend it in the middle but not so much on the outside unless you give it a right click anyway on the Speedframe Pro the peak has been brought bang up to date and it's got a three position adjustable peak check it out so that is the top middle bottom and that allows you to adjust as you ride in and also to store your goggles to check that out check the space you got there one of the things that did slightly worry me was whether the Speedframe Pro was going to be heavier than the old flux but guess what it's 18 grams lighter in large this weighs in a 423 grams on my kitchen scales and this bad boy 440 grams so the new Speedframe Pro is actually lighter than the flux we're going to have a way more in-depth overview of the brand new Speedframe Pro on our YouTube channel really soon. I can't wait to put it to the test. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments section below. And also let me know what trail lid you're riding at the moment. Take it easy.